Welcome back guys. I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.18 and the statement of it is a continuous random variable x that can assume values between x equal to 2 and x equal to 5 has a density function given by f of x which is 2 1 plus x divided by 27. Okay. So first of all let me write the given data. Okay. And in writing the given data, what I have to do, let me plot it here. So, visualizing it will give you the conceptual overview of this question. Okay. So, then values here on the x axis basically starts from 2. Okay. This is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. And all of these values has a value which is f of x equal to 2 1 plus x divided by 27 and as the value of x is available here we can see that this is a linear function so most probably it will be like you can see that it will be like this one okay it will be a linear function so i have to find it out and here we have this f of x okay and on the x axis we have this random variable x okay so now here in order to find different values which are here let me solve it and solving it i have to do what here we have to find in part a the probability that x is less than 4 okay so this x less than 4 basically lies in the range which is basically this one sorry okay so this is basically this one i am not going beyond this one because now the function is already zero so i am not going to describe this one as well so therefore now writing this one probability i have to integrate all these values from two up to four okay in continuous va random variable less than four is around point around in decimal points so therefore i am not discussing it or i am not considering it therefore because 3.999 something is less than 4 which is almost equal to 4 so i am also considering the value here as well so now here we will have f of x d of x okay now putting their values what i will get here this will be 2 for the value of f of x is 2 1 plus x divided by 27 okay and here we will have this d of x now taking this 2 by 27 out of it okay and we will have here 2 4 1 plus x dx okay and also 2 by 27 and the values here would be applying the linear property here what we will have we will have here 2 4 1 dx plus 2 4 this x and dx here as well okay now simplifying it solving it what we will get here i will get 2 by 27 and the values here we will have x and here 2 4 and here i will have x square divided by 2 and the values are here again 2 and 4 okay also this 2 by 27 and here we will have 4 minus 2 plus this the, this is the higher range in this x while this is the lower value lower range value Similarly here we will have 1 by 2 and now x square higher minus x square lower value okay. Now finding it out what I will get 2 by 27 and here we will have 4 minus 2 which is 2 okay. Here this is 4 4 16 16 minus 4 is 12 12 divided by 2 is that is 6 okay. So ultimately what we will get this is 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. So 16 divided by 27 and that is what that is the solution of part A. Okay. 
So that is what that is the solution of part A. Similarly, you can also solve part B just like this one. And what to do in it? We can see that the ranges are given here, which are from 3 to 4. So let me solve it here as well. So let me move down somehow. Okay. So now this is part B of my question. And here I have to find the probability that X is greater or equal to 3 and less than 4. Okay. Now in order to do so, I have to write these limits. So these will start from 3 to 4 because I have told you that I cannot discriminate between the nearest values in continuous random variable. Writing the same values here, what I will get here, it will be 2, 1 plus x divided by 27 dx. Okay. So again, using the same function which we had done previously, the answer or the solution of it will be like this one while the limits will change and by solving it like this one, what will you get, you will get the answer of it which is 1 by 3. Okay, So the answer of it by solving it and putting all these values, you will get 1 by 3. Okay, So that is what that is the solution of the question 3.18. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.